Hello, welcome back to Tanya's Art. Hi. Today I'm going to do a uh, fourth attempt, yes, a fourth attempt, to uh, the chameleon pouring, uh, totally inspired by Yomo painting. Thank you so much, uh, Yomo, for the inspiration. Um, as you can see, my table is, uh, well, drips, drops, drops are everywhere because of the paint that I use uh, maybe 20 minutes ago to give it another go uh, for the chameleon. But I have noticed that not only if I use an old canvas with silicone, it doesn't work, but also when uh, I put uh, the metallic paint in it. And I will show you um, the combination that I used uh, 20 minutes ago was with the paint that I, I, I will show you, but also with the copper. And I love copper, but in this case, it is not um, helpful with the base because uh, it gives cells and because the paint are a little bit thin, the cells are forming quicker because I use a metallic. And my second intent was also with gold and that I have the same effect. So now in this attempt, and that is my five, fifth attempt, I will do it without metallic, just beautiful colors, I find. Uh, and I am just going to get started. Now the first color that I have is Ultramarine Blue by Amsterdam Standard Series. It is thin, but not as thin as a Dutch pour. I hope you can see it. It leaves a little amount. This is the um, uh, permanent magenta, Winston and Newton. And I put a little bit of the dioxazine purple into it. The third uh, is the, um, uh, how do you call it, Halo Turquoise Light. I only put maybe five drops in it because it's highly pigmented and it's a little bit fluid. I see this one is a little bit thicker, but I think it's not a problem. And the fourth one is the Brilliant Green, also standard series of Amsterdam. And I use the coconut milk that is the same that uh, Yomo painting use. I put a little bit more into my cup. It is transparent. And I have a dotting tool for making the dots. But first I want to layer my cup and not layer, but some kind of a dirty pour. So I will do all the paint in it. And the paint will mix. And that's exactly what my plan is. Yomo um, do, does layers, but I like to do it in a dirty pour kind of way. Drop my stick in the water so it can be cleaned easily. Maybe I have a lot of paint, but I use a lot of paint for this compass also because I have to stretch it out and get it over the edge. Um, I have a little bit left and why not use it all? I scrape my table every time and I uh, save it, the paint, for uh, another day and then I use a canvas and I put all my uh, leftover paint on it and uh, make something nice of it because I don't want to throw my paint away. Right. Make sure everything is supported at the back side. And I didn't check my canvas level, but I think so. Yes, it is. And otherwise I will pick it up and move it to another table to let it dry. 
Yes, it is. Right. I hope you have an, a marvelous day, a great day. I'm uh, I'm doing fine. I hope you're doing fine too. It's almost December and uh, the holidays are coming up. The end of the year is coming up. And I think uh, it is very nice to have family around and have a nice uh, gathering and dinner and have fun. But today I'm painting and having fun. Yay! <laughs> Let's go and see what's happening with the colors. Blue, turquoise. That's my cup. Let's torch. Hopefully this one will work out. I have tried four times now, but I know now what the difficulty was, and that is the metallics and also the silicone on my used canvas. Let's turn it around. First, I want to make sure that the canvas is totally filled with paint, and then I will Get it over the edge like so. Over the edge. Da, 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 da. Go, paint, go, yay! I hope you can see what I'm doing. Just nice that the green is centered in the middle. A little bit over here, and then I can turn it back into the middle. And I believe that Yomo painting is using paint that are uh, already um, ready to use. And I have put, of course, flutrol paint and water in it. I still see cells. So maybe it's the use uh, ready to use paint that he used that is um, suitable for this technique, but I will give it a go. Let's try this together. All right, there we go. Round up in the middle and off we go. I see some reaction forming. That's a good thing. So I can see where I am and where I'm going. I see some cells forming, that's a good thing. They are green, of the brilliant green. And I hope there will be cells with another color. Maybe the middle will be green and the outside will be another color. It's very difficult to see where I stopped and where I begin, but I will do the best that I can. Still green cells. Now is the magenta coming and the blue permanent magenta big cell here here and here but I think that's from the paint
not know if I'm going straight. <laughs> but I'm doing the best that I can. It seems to work much better without metallics. Oh, now I'm lost. Here. Uh, I just start here and if I forget something, I will fix that later. Now this is working better. Much better. I hope you can see the cells. I think so. It's the 50 centimeter round canvas that I use. And I have painted it black because there were an other painting under the black paint and I didn't like it. And that's something I can do. Oh, there's a lot of cells here. Almost there. I think you can see there there are other colors and other cells in the writer section of the canvas. That will be a little bit of a mess, but maybe I drip some drops. Drop some drips. <laughs> Ooh, well. This one is perfect to use the uh, tool that I have, dotting tool. A lot of cells over here, so I skip those. Maybe here, and I can see that I started over there, so I can see now where the end of the row is. Oh, drip. Do I go fast? Maybe too fast? I don't know. Um, I think I will continue in this row over here because I can see here that I have beautiful lines and the cells are forming perfectly on the left side of the canvas. I think you're right. And on this side, they are also looking great. So maybe it's because I have dripped some coconut milk serum on the canvas, but I will fix that, hopefully. Here is the row, so I am going to dip. Almost done. Now another on the other side. So I love the colors, so that's a good start. The magenta and the blue and the green is not a color that I use frequently, but magenta, yes, I did, I do, and the blue also, but the green 
not so much. So here is a cell, here is a cell, here, here, here. So I will get this row and go the other way again. Almost finished. Stick with me, please, so you can see the end result. I will put the picture at the end in this video. I have made an, um, a new introduction video. I hope you like that one with some colors and text, of course. I hope you like that. Oh, a drip. Here, I don't see very much cells, so I'll put a little bit of cells here. I think the form is here a little bit out of shape, and that's maybe because I drip some um, hair serum, but yeah, well, that is what it is. Oh, drip again. Now I saw it. <laughs> Almost at the edge. I'm not going to spin it because I have already spread my canvas. So the paint is thin. Well, there are a lot of cells here, and that's that's good, of course, but not as neat as here. So I think I have what I just said, drip some drops, but that doesn't matter because now I know that the paint, the metallic paint that I use is not suitable for this technique. And that's fine. Now I know, I know, I know, I know. Look at those cells popping up here. Beautiful. The contrast of the green and the blue and the magenta, permanent magenta is great. Maybe some bubbles, I will touch it again. Now there are big cells over here, so it's not perfect yet. But it's a good start. This section is beautiful and the middle is also fine. Only this is a little bit wonky and I think that's because of the drops. But I have learned something uh, from this technique. Um, be careful with your drops. <laughs> and I think I love it. I think I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put some pictures close up so you can see the, the cells with a different kind of... I will show you if I can pick it up and show you a little bit better. This section I love. Also this, the blue and the magenta, love it. And then you have here the section that is a little bit wonky because of the drips. And maybe I just think about making the paint a little bit thicker because the cells are, they are fine, but I, he, I see here also that it's a little bit wonky. So next time I make my paint a little bit thicker and that's a good learning process. I hope you enjoyed it experiment. And I think it's, uh, well, it is all right, but I'm still learning to make the perfect cells and the consistency of the paint, I think is also a little bit too thin and also the drips that I, that I drop over here. But that's, um, well, next time it will be hopefully different, but I love the color combination. 
and the cells are here forming with different kind of colors that is beautiful he also so i am happy with it it's a good start to get uh, experience more and learn more so i hope you enjoy the video have a great day and i see you at the next video bye bye